YouTube, Mark Verheer here, with a very special video. I am actually going to install Android on my laptop. Let's go check it out. Little Akoya uh, netbook was running shite under Windows, so I've put Android 4.4 on this stick and I'm going to boot it. Okay, let's, let's turn it on and press F. F11 to select the boot process. So hopefully, yeah. And let's select the stick. Enter. So, installation to hard disk. So basically this is Linux, like um, create and modify partitions, hard drive, and just do the free space, uh, new, yeah, just a, um, create a new primary partition, yeah, sure, why not, uh, bootable, and... I guess I need to write yes not sure if I should actually make a uh, swap partition or uh, you know do any other stuff but let's let's do uh, do you want um, are you sure you want to write yes I want to write it yes So it's writing it to disk. And let's uh, let's quit. Okay, so here we are. So I'm going to select uh, the partition to install Linux. And I am going to format it as NTFS because that's something that works. Yes. What I'm actually quite curious about is whether or not it'll have a Play Store or, you know, have some fully-fledged Android functionality. Um, because I've been using Android on uh, the stick, uh, stick-based computers, and that actually worked pretty well. And very curious whether or not actually Android may be a viable desktop replacement for Windows, you know, have an Android desktop. Uh, okay. And as you can see, it's, it's still going. So, uh, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just copied it and uh, Android is installed successfully. I will reboot. Oh. It's um, it's booting into Android, I guess. Oh wow, it is! <laughs> oh my God, this laptop is booting Android. Uh, I actually uh, had to format it in X X. The uh, extended file system 2, not 3, but 2. 3 doesn't work, 2 does work, NTFS doesn't work, but uh, yeah. And then you also don't get these weird questions uh, with a user uh, partition and um, uh, it's all in the, in the file system itself. So, well, this system supports a card reader, so I'm able to extend the memory probably. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, it's taking a bit, a bit of time to boot, and I guess I have to set it up. So um, yeah, I'm not sure how you power it down. Actually, oh, looky here, look at that. Um, well, I just want to have it in English. I think United Kingdom. And go to next. So probably this is just like setting up uh, a tablet. <laughs> S 
so pretty nice fonts. Uh, what I gathered is actually that all sorts of uh, hardware is actually supported with this uh, first release. This is the release one. Uh, no release candidate. This is the first real release. So it's, it's basically a consumer ready product, I guess. So it's configuring now. And I'll be back when the next uh, screen appears. And it even has, I'm not sure if you can see, but it even has uh, detected my battery. Ah, select Wi Fi. Okay, so it is actually. Uh, <laughs> it is actually detecting the Wi-Fi and is using the Wi-Fi that is built into the notebook. I'm going to select um, my network and type, type in the password and uh, I'll be back. So it has detected my network. It shows the Wi-Fi icon over there. And now it asks, asks if I have a Google account, which I have. So I'm going to type that in and have it just set up as, my, as an Android tablet. Hmm. Okay, so the uh, the system is uh, signing in and is actually using Google services. Wow. It shows this large uh, screen. Welcome, make yourself at home. So I'm just going to press OK. Organize your space. Wow. <laughs> it actually has the... Uh, it actually has the Android, uh, the Android. Uh, let me see. Customize your drawer, apps. I'm very curious whether or not the uh, the camera will actually work. Let's go check it out. Oh my God. Look at that! <laughs> Holy crap! I'm I'm actually using that that camera, and it's actually working. That is crazy. Wow. Um, let's go back. We have the. Uh... Hold on. Okay, what I'm very curious about whether or not the Play Store would actually work most of the time, it probably will not, but if it does, this is just basically out of the box working. Holy crap! The Play Store is working. Okay, let me let me go check that out. Holy crap! I'm actually am able to select my apps. and all the apps that I have. So I've got I've gotten a ton of, of applications. Probably not all will work. Uh, but um, it will be quite interesting to see. Rich races. I'm not sure if that will work actually. Holy crap. Proceed. No, f no, no way. Well, um, I'll get back to you on this because ah, this this just seems to be amazing. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna switch off automatic updating because otherwise the system will just installed. Oh, look at that. It's actually installing Ridge Racer Slipstream. Uh, of course, my system doesn't have any touch interface. Um, I have to use the mouse and the keyboard or the touchpad. And I will probably have to use uh, an Android compatible controller. Man! This this bodes well. This bodes very well. You can you can actually turn well at least this laptop into an Android tablet without a touch interface, but this is mighty interesting, I can tell you. And uh yeah.
bloody hell. This is actually very interesting. Um, I'm just going to tinker with it. I'm just going to, you know, uh, check out some stuff and see how it works. And I'll get back to you on uh, how it actually works, if it actually works, if there's bugs or anything. But the Google Play Store is supported. Uh, my account is just, you know, it's just working, which is great. Which is really great. Uh, so, um, <laughs> wow.